cataractcoach.com. Posterior capsule rexus for a plaque. This posterior capsule plaque is carefully removed by doing a posterior rexus. So here you can see the patient has a relatively dense cataract here, very opaque, getting that rexus done. Their guest surgeon here is going to do a beautiful job of that rexus. I like that. Using the left hand to fixate the eye and hold it still through the paracentesis, the right hand is doing a very nice looking capsule rexus. Now you can see on the undersurface there of the anterior capsule, there's a big white fibrotic little plaque there. So now that's probably going to be indicative of what you're going to see on the posterior capsule. Now, because the cataracts are relatively dense, not much view of the hydrodissection, so be very cautious here on the hydrodissection. And then dissecting a little bit more, get that lens freed up so it can rotate. And does it rotate? It's looking like it's getting. There it is. There's the rotation. So now it's rotated pretty nicely. And now going in with the phaco probe and the chopper, probably a nice chop technique. Let's see what we got here. And again, a good amount of nuclear density, burying the phaco tip nice and deep like a submarine chop that Mohanda taught us. And now let's see, chop, 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 get that chopper across. Nicely split, nicely done. And I like the propagation of the chop throughout the piece. Now going back inside the eye, let's see, rotate again. Get the probe buried again deep in the nucleus in the densest part of that nucleus. Chopper going around the equator and a nice chop. So beautiful technique here. This is fantastic. So great job for this uh, young surgeon. Getting that nucleus rotated again. Buzz on the phaco probe. And then chopper goes around the equator and a nice chop. So beautifully done here. Now, with four quadrants, I'd start removing the, the pieces. There you go. That's a good idea. Bring that one quadrant up to the iris plane. Emulsify, taking your time there. By the way, nice nice keeping the eye in primary, good uh, pivoting in the incisions. I like that as well. Buzz into the nucleus again. And let's see, chopper going around. Maybe another sub-chop from that quarter. Split it in half into two-eighths. And now each of these can be removed pretty easily. Nicely done here. So something very satisfying about watching a, a well-done phaco chop. So obviously this surgeon has really mastered the technique of phaco chop. Really very controlled. Again, we're not worried about the speed. We're worried about the control. The control here is great. Hey, check out cataractcoach.com, the teaching website. So much great material. I can't believe that you just watched the YouTube video and you never have checked out the website. Do you know there's a free PDF book, How to Learn Phaco, How to Learn Chop? You want to learn chop? It's there. I'm always shocked when I meet someone in person and they say, oh, I like your videos. Thanks. I'm learning surgery. I'm like, oh, keep up the good work. Have you downloaded my free book? No, what book? Oh, come on, people. Come on. You're better than that. Now, last chop here. Get the nucleus done. Let's see what's back there. There's probably not going to be a whole lot of cortex, remember? Denser nucleus, not much cortex left. So be careful as the last few pieces come up. You don't want to nail the posterior capsule. So good job here. And let's take a look what we got. Last few pieces come down. There's that plaque on the poster capsule. Now, what are your options here? You can try to get that plaque up. Oh, I like this technique, using the chopper in one hand and then the eye probe in the other to look under the iris to make sure you get all the cortex out. That's a nice technique. I do that myself. Now, trying to get this plaque off. Let's see. Zoom in there. There it is. Sometimes you can just peel it off, but sometimes you can't. Now, could you just leave the plaque there, put the lens in, and do a YAG capsulotomy later? Of course. That's a very reasonable thing to do also. So here the surgeon's putting the lens in, but this is the time the surgeon's going to say, you know what, let me just pull the lens to the side now, go more viscoelastic underneath it, and let's get a posterior rexus done. So now the posterior rexus can be small. You just want to take that one little plaque off. So grab it onto that plaque, and let's see. Let's see, you're going to poke in the capsule. Now, to do the posterior rectus, actually, after you poke in like this, I like to actually inject more viscoelastic dispersive agent along the anterior hyaloid face there, behind the posterior capsule, just a little bit, just to create a barrier. So there you go. Nice looking rectus. Beautifully done. End of the case here. Seal up the incisions and look at that. Beautifully done. Patient's going to have a beautiful outcome. Let's take a look at the post-op day one pick. Wow, looks fantastic. Great job. Hey, check out the website, cataractcoach.com. Follow me on Instagram. And remember, I got a new podcast every week. So much to learn. It's all for free.